Hello, my name is Shristi. I'm from grade 2B and today I'm going to explain the two changes about physical change and chemical change. Physical change are, are examples like this paper and I just tear it, but it can easily be fixed with the sellotape or glue. But this doesn't form a new product, so it belongs in the physical change. Physical change is basically the the things which are torn, broken, remade, washed, but it doesn't create a new product. Now, let's move on to, to the other ones called chemical change. So, this is a lush green leaf and this is a dry leaf. This lush green leaf can take years, weeks, days, years, weeks, days, months, decades to form into this dry leaf. But this dry leaf cannot form back into the lush green leaf, so it belongs in the chemical change. The chemical change is basically the thing which is torn and broken, but it creates a new product and it cannot be made into the product that it was before. And that's all. Thank you. Hello, my name is Samagna from Grade 2B and I'm going to explain the properties of matter which is sink or float. So I have two glasses of water here. One is, one is salt water and one is fresh water. And I have egg right here. And I'm going to test the egg if it sinks or float in the fresh water. And it sinks. And I'm going to take the same egg and put it in the salt water. And if I draw, and in the salt water, it floats because of the salt because of the salt it increases the weight of the water and then it floats thank you hello my name is anvika i'm going to talk about 31 day zero waste challenge so we have avoided plastic sometimes and like example like no wasting water no wasting plastic we can reuse plastic we can make something out of plastic and then you have to plant trees give them water and no wasting food and these are the wasting challenge which you should not waste paper also or any kind of material also we can reuse them and make something out of it like if i have a plastic with me and i can make a uh, like uh, uh, putting crayons in it so I can reuse them and like a cardboard box and you can keep some things in it inside you can keep food inside you can even take a bucket of water take the amount of water and take very less shower so that water would not waste otherwise from the streets there are lakes over there which waters will finish and all the animals from the water might die so we should waste very less water and drink the amount of water which is in your cup and now you should not waste Paper also is because paper is made made from trees. Trees and if you make paper, trees we have to cut lots of trees and make paper. So you should not always like uh, waste papers. And it's it's also made out of it's made out of wood and it's came from trees. And now you should not waste plastic and avoid little bit of plastic is because even if you have a milk packet and from the milk packet there is a plastic out of the cover but even also you can cut the plastic and put it into one box metal box by avoiding also plastic box plastic box you should not waste you can add sketch pens you can add whatever you want in it thank you